joined this morning on This Week on Iowa by Jack Dom, the University of Iowa head baseball coach. Coach, what I'll start off with the Big Ten Player of the Week. Mr. Phil Kepler hit 733 last week. How nice is it to see uh, the seniors bat start warming up? Oh, it's it's good to see and, and very much needed. Um, he put together one of the one of the best weekends or best weeks I've seen a player have in a long, long time. And uh, uh, very happy for Phil. You know, he's back for his fifth year. Uh, he's, he's becoming the leader of, our, of, of the team this year. And, uh, you know, we needed that. Um, offensively, we've been, been struggling a little bit. And the thing that you need is your older guys to, to go out and play like they're capable of. And he, he did more than that. Well, this week is a little bit different with Nebraska joining the league. That's kind of an unbalanced schedule. So your team has its first ever, uh, I think, conference conference bye week in yeah. a week. Uh, what, how did you change your approach heading into this week? You know what, uh, unfortunately we had we had Butler coming in, um, but when they lost, dro Cleveland State dropped baseball, uh, they lost their bye weekend. So so we scrambled a little bit and um, it's actually going to be a little bit of a nice break. The team has three games this week starting tonight at Dwayne Banks Field against Western Illinois. Good luck to you and the Hawkeyes and thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot, Brew. Joined this morning on This Week on Iowa by Marla Looper, the head hawk for the University of Iowa softball team. Coach, the Hawks dropped uh, two or three last weekend at Northwestern, but uh, can you tell us about some of the positives from, uh, from the weekend and what can you take away from that three-game series? It was a tough weekend. We started off really well. Uh, got the first game under our belts with the, with the win. Uh, put five runs up in, I believe it was the third or fourth inning, and unfortunately sat on those for a little bit, but the fact that we executed and got that done early allowed us to win that ball game. Uh, the other positives is uh, we continue to fight all weekend. We, we put ourselves in some holes in the second and third game, but we continue to fight. I don't think quits in their dictionary, which I like that. Uh, on an off-field note, Saturday is the, uh, the annual paint game at Pearl Field. Mm -hmm. What does it mean for you and your team to participate in that event? You know, it, anytime you can bring awareness to what, whether it's uh, breast cancer, which is what we're doing this weekend, or any type of, of cancer, diseases, things that people suffer through day in, day out. You know, we're fortunate we get to go play a game every day. Um, some people aren't as fortunate every day. Their battles are a little bit different. And if we can just help bring awareness to that, and our kids are really excited about that, and as well as Nebraska, they're going to help uh, join in on that and just bring some awareness to breast cancer. And uh, we're all affected in some way. Um, it's nice to be able to just show some support. Well, that's a fabulous community event. Everyone appreciates you doing it. So uh, good luck to you and the Hawkeyes this weekend. Three games against Nebraska right here at Pearl Field. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Coach, uh, the women had a strong outing last week at the Stanford Invitational. Uh, what highlights stand out in your mind? Well, certainly the, uh, the highlight for that group, although we had some uh, significant lifetime bests, was certainly Mackenzie Melander's number two all-time performance, 15.57 over the 5K distance and 31-second uh, PR. So that's, that's a big jump and certainly well-deserved for her. After this weekend, you're facing a big stretch, uh, kind of a fun stretch coming up with Musco, Drake, Big Tens, and NCAAs. How does the training change as uh, we near closer to the championship season? Well, I mean, it's crunch time. Right now, it's, you know, the emphasis is, is largely on competing well. I mean, certainly we're still training each week, but, but we've definitely backed things down, I would say, just because uh, you've got a short week, get back Sunday, get back Monday, turn around and leave again Friday for the next meet. So uh, not a whole lot of time in between to do much more than polish up, recover, and, and get ready to compete again. Okay, Coach, you're heading to Tom Bott's Invitational this Friday and Saturday, so uh, good luck to you and the Hawkeyes, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Joined this morning on This Week on Iowa by Mark Hankins, the head coach for the University of Iowa men's golf team. Coach, the uh, Hawkeyes had a strong performance last weekend at the LSU invite, second place overall. What do you uh, take from that effort? Um, you know, LSU was our first real um, kind of medal play. We, we've done a lot of match play this early spring, and um, you know, 15 good teams at LSU and some, some teams uh, from down south there that have been practicing and playing a little bit more than we have. So, um, you, you know, we played very well. Um, we prepared very well. And I think uh, more than that, we've kind of gained a little bit of confidence just by, um, you know, working on our mental approach to, to scoring. Two weeks until the Big Ten Championships. Do you consider this a bit of a preview of the conference tournament? You know, it's nice to, to get a few more Big Ten schools because, um, N number one, they're, they're good teams. Um, it creates a great atmosphere for our uh, Hawkeye invite here. The other thing is that, um, you know, it, the more times you see these teams, um, the more you kind of order yourself in there. And uh, the interesting thing about the Big Ten tournament is it is one golf tournament. Um, it'll depend on the golf course. Um, it definitely gives us an opportunity to kind of get sharpened as far as competitively. Um, we've got uh, a tournament this weekend. We've got a tournament next weekend at Purdue. And then we go straight into Big Tens. So, you know, three weeks in a row, I think we'll be competitively sharp by the time we get to Big Tens. And 
um, then you just have to go there and try to relax. Well, Coach, it all starts this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, April 14th and 15th, right here at Think Fine Golf Course in Iowa City. So good luck to you and the Hawkeyes, and thank you for joining us. Yep, thanks. Thank <laughs> you.